War 119 is finally here, and this war is a special one. It's what we in the Foxhole community call an update war. With the recent infantry update, Foxhole is hitting massive player numbers that we haven't seen for some time. Update wars always bring back a lot of old players and of course bring in a ton of new players. This should be another epic war like War 117. I decided to start War 119 in Fairnack Coast because I haven't been over to this region for the last two wars. During day one of the war, the Colonials were able to push the Wardens out of the scrap of Ambrose and up to the bridge by bone haft. But on day two of the war, the wardens pushed back with a massive counterattack, bringing tons of push guns and infantry to flood the battlefield. The wardens were able to push past the bridge and take back the scrap of Ambrose and continue with their momentum to take Terra as well. I spawned into Terra wanting to reclaim it and push the wardens back. Right away I noticed that we had a strong defensive line on the west side of the battlefield, with fortifications extending along the road. Additionally we had two well stocked bases, a bunker base by the north road and another bunker base positioned between the middle road and the south road. On this middle road was where most of the battle was taking place. Sarah and placement guns were placed across the battlefields from the south bunker base all the way to the north bunker base. These guns fire 12.7mm rounds that mow down any infantry that come within range. It was a cold and snowy night when I came to this front, which made it very difficult for us to push into Terra. I wanted to check out the new medical tents but was instantly ran over. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Not playing foxhole for a week made me forget to look both ways when crossing the street. On the main road, we were locked in a heated pushgun battle. During the early war in Foxhole, things move a bit slower. We have limited weapons and almost no vehicles at the start of the war. It makes pushing very difficult. I normally don't like fighting where the battle is the most intense. Yeah, either north or south, we need to go scout out and see if there's another hole. So I decided I would go and scout the south side to see if I could find any weaknesses in their defenses. While scouting, I did find a weak point. I needed to rally our team together quickly and start pushing Mammon rushes to this spot as soon as possible. Alright, I need Mammon people on me. Let's go! Two Mammons, fo follow me, get Mammon. Come on! I was able to recruit some soldiers to help me, and thus began the Mammon go rushes. The pillbox, or the garrison over here. Yeah. Hit oh. it right here, yep, yep, right there, right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> My move! Yeah! That's a bad thing for me. Ah, get through it! Yeah! Oh, yeah! 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 After several Mammon rushes, the Wardens redirected some of their troops to reinforce their weak spot. I thought a smart play would be to stop Mammon rushing the south and try to attempt to Mammon rush the north defenses instead. Keep it up, let's keep it up. They, they're bringing a lot more reinforcements. Let's switch it to the north or something. Let's see if we can do something in the north. Oh, they got an armored oh, yeah, car here. Armor car, back off, this back off, back up, back up. Unfortunately, that plan failed. All right, guys, we need, to, we need to back, 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 back. Mammon's back, Mammon's back. The Wardens had much better defenses to the north and there was no way we were going to break through. So we decided to continue our assault to the south. We kept on throwing our Mammons and slowly we were chipping away at their defenses. Let's go, boys. Logi continued to bring mammons and shirts for us to keep these attacks going. Nice guys, nice. stop hiding in the trenches and go fight them. With most of the defenses down on the south side, we were getting closer to the relic base. Armored car, armored car, armored car. Unfortunately, the Wardens had brought in some armored cars to stop us from entering their base. Medic, we need medic. Oh, go! Go! This way, let's go! Mammon's on me! Mammon's on me! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, 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 yeah! Come on! 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 Come
As night fell, our mammon rushes slowly stopped, and warden infantry started pushing us back. Hello. I don't have weapons. This is hell. War is hell. What? The fucking the ambulance. Kill the ambulance so it's not blocking you. Kill the ambulance so it's not Kill blocking it. you. That's a war crime. The wardens eventually started coordinating their own mammon rushes to take out our in-place guns. It was hard to see them coming during this cold winter night. We attempted a few more mammon rushes up the middle to try and soften their defenses, but we had no luck in destroying any of these structures. I'm alive! I'm alive! Help! We continued to apply pressure to the south side of their base during the night, using basic infantry weapons to keep them from rebuilding their defenses and to keep them from pushing out. We were very fortunate during this battle to have a seaport close to us to keep us well supplied. There was also a factory down the road as well. Lodgy players were grabbing bee mats from the seaport and making whatever supplies we needed in this factory, and then they delivered it to us on the front. This helped us hold strong during this attack. After countless mammon rushes from the wardens during the night, we had somehow survived. Our emplacement guns kept the wardens off the main road and kept their infantry back from attacking our base. At this point though, the battle had slowed down. Infantry were fighting one another across the trenches and no side was seeing any significant gain. The wardens at one point had attempted to mam and rush the north side and were quickly taken care of. We repaired our defenses and held strong. Yo, delightful. Put some pressing fire on the trench. Then already, uh... four wardens in it. As night returned, we pressed on, fighting fiercely in the trenches and trying our best to push forward. Bless you, bless you, lad. Bless you, Lieutenant. But once again, the wardens during the night started their mammon rushes. Yeah, I'll come repair you. Oh, mammon, stop it, stop it. Gonna oh my god. Mammon rush. They were able to take out a few of our emplacement guns this time, leaving us quite weak and vulnerable. Oh, it's gone. Oops. <laughs> the wardens during this battle truly excelled at sneaking around under the cover of the night. Pushing up. They're, they're targeting the fish gun. Get on it. Ooh. They even managed to take out one of our push guns. With the front at a bit of a standstill, I decided I would try my luck with some partisan play. I had managed to find a good route to the north along the river. I was able to sneak past defenses that had no AI active and make it to the bridge south of Bonehaft. Warden Lodgy trucks would be going across this bridge to supply Terra. I was able to raise the bridge. I thought I was in the best position ever to disrupt their Lodgy supply line. That is a lot of ammo. Unfortunately, though, some wardens quickly came and took me out. Oh, that's Robert. Holy Hello. shit. But this did not discourage me. I was determined to take out some Lodgy trucks. I eventually tried to wait by the road that they would be traveling on. I found a fellow soldier who had the same idea that I had. Robert, Robert. Yeah, what's up? There's a trench near here that I, I'm shooting at supply trucks. Oh, yeah. I've been cutting off Lodgy. I was going more near the bridge, but they have a lot of defenses over there, too. That survive? <laughs> it was down the hill, I think. Oh, run, run, run. Hey. Banzai! <laughs> Save yourself. <laughs> After we failed on the road, I brought him to my partisan spot by the bridge once again, and we finally had some success. Might be up 
here might so be a little bit better. I know we'll... that pillbox. You can get a nice angle here, I think. Right here. One. Too bad they don't go into the river. That would be cool. <laughs> yes. Yeah, right, last mug. Last six bullets. Yeah. Got one more. Here you go. Oh, that one, one almost went in. That one almost went in. Run. <laughs> no, I have to take That's all right. We got, we got three of them. We tried to head to the bridge again after that attempt, but they had fortified their defenses. We decided to try our luck on the road once again. So I'm just gonna go kill him. Yeah, same. I got five rounds left. Do have a grenade though? <laughs> ah! Don't shoot me! You failed. No, we didn't. We didn't fail. <laughs> got like three trucks. Good job, boys. And that was the end of my partisan runs. The wardens caught on after each attempt, and it was harder and harder to sneak in to disrupt their lodgy. I like to think that we did a pretty good job and caused a few headaches, though. While I was doing this partisan work to the north, the battle to the south remained about the same. No side having a clear advantage over the other. It was still night, and I didn't feel like joining a slow front, so I decided to do a bit of lodgy work for a while. But this was not the normal kind of lodgy work I do on a front. With both our south and north bunker well supplied, I decided that all I wanted to do was put more BMATs into the town hall next to the factory down south. So I traveled down to the seaport outside of Jade Cove and grabbed some BMATs and took them to the town hall in Husk Hollow. I was doing what I call midline lodgy. I was laying the groundwork for other lodgy players, ensuring the BMATs in the town hall would be ready for the factory to craft whatever the front line needed when the time came. After I was done with that lodgy adventure, I decided to pick up some fresh spawns and give them a lift to the front. How is it going up there? Not too bad. It's pretty back and forth. All right, here's the south side. They're also battling on the north side as well. Good luck out there. Oh, rumble. <laughs> <laughs> Surrender. Wait, you do YouTuber? Yep, I do YouTube sometimes. With daytime here once again, I decided to try my luck with some partisan play again. I think I'm addicted to partisan play now. Unfortunately though, the wardens had built even more defenses and it was even harder to break through. So with that, I rejoined the front. We battled back and forth for hours, with no side gaining any ground. GG's to the colonials and the wardens who fought in this battle. It was a lot of fun. I look forward to seeing how this war develops. What are some of your favorite moments from this war already? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and for your support. Make sure to subscribe for more Foxhole content. I'll see you out on the battlefield. Cheers.